Welcome into another week of Friday Night Blitz. I'm Brandon Kennard. The weather did play a role tonight. A few games are still going on. Many others have been postponed until tomorrow, but we'll bring you the highlights we do have, including our sports showdown game of the week. Nina and Menasha, the Twin Cities, renewing their rivalry. They're playing for the first time since 2013. Blue Jays on the move right away. Check the throw here from A.J. Korth. One of the best you'll see at the high school level. Drops it right in there. Hits Seth Spath in stride for a big gainer. Leads to a Menasha touchdown. Nina responding down in the red zone. Jack Zemlock, the acceleration, the burst right up the gut. Seven all, we're tied. Now you saw Korth do it with his arm. Now how about the legs? Off the little read option look. 81 yards later, he's got a Menasha touchdown. Blue Jays retaking the lead at 14-7. But again, Nina responding. Just when it felt like momentum was shifting toward Menasha. A long drive capped off by a Jace Jenkins touchdown that ties the game at 14, but that is when the weather gets them. 14 all at halftime, postponed till tomorrow. They'll resume at noon. We will not broadcast that on Sports Showdown, but if you want to head down to Menasha and watch, admission is free. Great game going on there. Another big non-con game tonight, Hortonville and West De Pere, first quarter. Polar Bears have it, not anymore. Sam Dodd off the low snap, can't handle it. Phantoms recover and they cash that into points. On a second and 10 here, they'll set up the screen. That's Najee Mitchell with it. And he'll go the distance, 25 yard score. West of Pier takes a seven nothing lead. Polar Bears answering back in the second quarter. Hunter Strange around the left side. He finds the edge and the end zone, seven all. This one also postponed until tomorrow. 7-7 the score late in the first half. Kimberly on the road at Ashwabadon. Late first quarter here. Caleb Frazier barreling in for the score. That puts the papermakers up 14-0. That's all we got before the storm rolled in there. They'll resume tomorrow at 10 a.m. with Kimberly up 14-0. That game's still in the first quarter. Down to the Bonta Bowl we go in Appleton. West versus East, the Crosstown rivalry, first quarter. West QB Jack Hammes under pressure, chucks it up. Tyler Metal makes him pay there for the interception. Decent return too, and East is in business. Later, they capitalize off the turnover. Jay McGolden just leaping into the end zone there. Seven nothing, Patriots on top. The fans, they love it. They wouldn't love it after this though, after an East turnover, West Finding the end zone for the first time. There's Hammis, the QB keeper. Terrors go up 10-7, and they're not done. Ben Valefsky living up to the school's nickname, just terrorizing Appleton East. That puts West up 17-7. The score right now is 17-14 in the third quarter. They'll resume play tomorrow morning at 10. Notre Dame and Bayport. This is after the first weather delay and the very first play back. Bayport at the one-yard line and scoring. Tommy Hall for the touchdown. Pirates go up 14-7. Next Bayport possession. Big play here on a third and long. Notre Dame looked like they were going to get a stop. Not so fast. Cole Benson to Sam Barry. Big gainer there. And then a couple plays later, Benson does it himself. This is one of my favorite plays of the night. Boom! Delivers the hit and extends the ball for the score. That's football. 21 to seven the score right now in the third quarter. They will resume play tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Luxembourg Casco on the road at Seymour. All Spartans tonight, first quarter. LC on the attack through the air. Owen Depri, pump fake, and has his man wide open. Ryan Ruthio, 67 yard touchdown. LC up seven zip. Next Spartans possession, down inside the 10 this time. The screen to Isaac Vandenbush. My second favorite Vanden Bush. Spartans on top, 13-0 I should say, and about to be 15-0 because look at that, the high snap on the extra point. Depri, no matter, beats everyone to the pylon for a two-point conversion. Later in the second quarter, another Vanden Bush touchdown adds to the lead. This is the only game we have that's actually gone final. They were able to finish LC 43-0, a winner.